Hey y'all, welcome back for another video. So today's video is gonna be super short and sweet. I am going to be reviewing a couple of designer sunglasses that I've picked up recently. I'm going on vacation next week. It's gonna be kind of a work vacation because I just got my new job and like that's my first week of work is when I'm planning on going to Miami. So I'm gonna be doing a mixture of the two, but of course I will need sunglasses. So I'm super excited to show these sunglasses. Like I've been wanting designer frames for a minute, but I feel the designer frames have always been, I feel like I had some on my lips. It might be dog hair. I have been dog sitting my friend's dog and I watched another friend's dog the week before. So it's like dog hair everywhere right now. Or it might be my new weave. Y'all like it. <laughs> so, um, anyways. Um, so, designer sunglasses to me have always been the type of thing that's like, I like it. But should I really spend my money on it? Because sunglasses can always just get lost and different things happen. They break. So, it's one of those kind of purchases where it's kind of like, do I really want to spend my money on that? But, in my opinion, I think designer sunglasses are a great way for people that are beginners into luxury items and their luxury world. And they really just want to have something that's kind of chic and designer, but they can still pair it with their everyday clothing from wherever they purchase their clothing from so I think that is a great way to kind of introduce different designer items and luxury items into your lifestyle and into your wardrobe through different accessories so sunglasses are a great thing to do for that and they're always you're gonna get your money out of them right you're gonna wear them all seasons all times so just a great item so today I'm gonna show you four different pairs that I purchased and I got them from different places so I can kind of tell you about the process and different things. So what kind of kicked this whole thing off were um, these two Dior frames that I found on Nordstrom Rack. Both of them were priced at $99, like $99.95. And I originally saw this first pair of cat eye glasses and got obsessed with them the whole day because they had sold out like right after I saw them. Don't you hate when that happens? So I saw them, they sold out when I was trying to find other items to put in my cart and I was just so bummed all day that I started digging more and more and that's what got me on this whole binge of designer sunglasses. So they were black and um, they were very similar to these. Now these are called the 54 mm size and these do not have the cat eyes. So this would just be the 54 mm size, but they are in black and I have my ring light. So I'm going to try to like position them in a way where you guys can see in the ring light does not get in the way too much. Um, but you can just see they're a standard black pair. I think the lens um, is the actual good darkness. Um, and it has the CD in gold on both sides, which is really cute. And I want to say these were originally like 300 something dollars. So you're really getting a great steal off of these. I think both pair originally were around 300, um, basically rounding to $400. So it's a great, um, great buy. Inside it has the D Dior on one and the other end has just Christian Dior. And I'm going to show you how they look on me. Um, so I do have a very low nose bridge. And so I keep that in mind when I'm buying glasses, like eyeglasses or sunglasses. But keep in mind, these are the 54 mm size. So you can kind of see that my eyebrows do show. So that's kind of something to be mindful of if you want your eyebrows to show or not. Because to me, sometimes it can be weird. I like oversized. Um, but this is the 54 mm size and this is it sitting kind of low this is it kind of pushed on my face but I wouldn't really want to wear it like that I would kind of wear it a little bit more like that um, but you can kind of see the CDs on the side and I think that's a great little touch um, I will say like the CD, you know, like CD player. I don't know. Like CD to me is a little weird, but I mean, it's Dior, baby. Like get with it, get with it. So um, this is the first pair. It's a very standard, typical black pair of sunglasses. This is the 54 mm size. And the dog is getting water. So, okay. Now the glasses do come in this case. I will say that the 
for, they come in the, the Dior glasses come in the same case like this is the same case for them it's black it's um, some kind of plastic material and it says Dior down here at the bottom it has this kind of slant design you open it up it has velvet on the inside you can see the Christian Dior Paris um, kind of tag inside the case is very nice on the inside um, it includes an authenticity card in here with the glasses which is very nice um, but I will say that the glasses do not fit in the case and I saw that on a couple of reviews but these particular glasses in their case it's just not happening it's not happening so that's the downfall of these for sure. It's like, how how would you have glasses that do not even fit in their case? And I mean, any kind of configuration that I try to do, they, um, they just do not really fit in there all the way. So yeah, so that's the first pair of Dior frames. Um, the second pair that I'm showing you guys are actually the pair that I um, wanted in black, but they didn't have in black, so they ended up having in red. And I'm not a huge red person, but I think it's a vibe, right? It's kind of a vibe. Now, the frame, the lenses to me do not seem dark enough. Like these might be just like I'm, I'm looking cool type. Um, I'm like maybe even indoors wearing glasses which i'm not a huge like i'm indoor wearing glasses type of person but these frames are definitely for that um and they're red they have gold cds on the side as well and like i was mentioning just that red lens is not super dark where I, I feel like it's really going to protect from the sun if you're on the beach or something but they're very cute and these are offering the cat eye these are 56 mm size so they're a lot bigger and you see when i was talking about your eyebrows like these would be the type that would cover your eyebrows and i'm kind of like weird about that so um i do look for that but i think this is a really cute size and a cute style i do wish i could have got these in the black um but they were unavailable these also say the christian dior and all that on the inside like the other pair and they um, were 99.95 like the other pair as well same case everything now i will say oddly enough these frames are bigger they're 56 versus the 54 but they fit like their case actually snaps clothes like they fit so these were like just totally a winner for me all the way around the board i may take back the 54 mm i'm pretty sure i will um but these were definitely a winner to me so i really like these i actually have come across a couple of other pair of dior sunglasses on um G joma shop j-o-m-a shop um, and I'll put the link in the description box um, and show y'all a couple of those. Um, but they're really cute and they're really like on trend this season. Like I'm not sure when these came out, when they, you know, were all that. But they're kind of like a classic style. But these pair um, from Joma Shop are very on trend. I've seen a lot of people wear them recently on vacation. They come in tons of different colors. But what I've seen on Joma Shop have been a clear and a black. And they're very cute. I personally have never shopped on joma shop any experience but i see they're on sale right now um for around a hundred dollars versus like 400 similar to these um and i did not see that style on nordstrom rack so that's the first two pair um they do also include like this little plastic baggie they include the cleaning wipes um all of that kind of information nordstrom rack provided it in this box just your standard kind of packaging nothing fancy for that versus maybe how glasses would look if i were to purchase them from dior so um next up i have these glasses from fendi and i actually ordered them this is the case it's so cute and red and it has that kind of triangular shape like the dior um i ordered these from amazon actually um so kudos amazon it came in the traditional amazon packaging they left it in like the mailbox or something so i would be kind of mindful of that like you know how Amazon can do sometimes. They'll leave it right on your porch where it can get stolen. They'll throw it somewhere. So that's the thing when you order stuff for Amazon. It did not come in 
any extra protective anything it was literally this with this inside um it may have had i think it had yeah it had this so it was in this just sitting in the amazon thing so you have to keep that in mind um but these glasses are super cute love fendi i always talk about how much i love fendi and it reminds me of Nicki minaj so um these are they're called the havana and if you notice i hope you guys can see the tortoise look is actually the fendi logo you see the fendi's the F's are making that um, tortoise design and I love that. This is also a cat eye shape and on the side you have the gold F which is so pretty. So, so pretty. And um, not sure exactly what the millimeters were for this but I would guess they would be closer to that 56 um, because they are this larger cat eye shape. And when you see them on you see what I mean. And I'll try to get a little closer for y'all to see. I just love these. Like, that is just everything to me. Everything. Like, the size is perfect. Like, I know I would wear these out. I would wear these out. I already know. So, yeah. These, um, I hope I didn't mess up my focus or anything. But these Fendi ones are super classic. I got them on Amazon for... Uh, I should know this. <laughs> I got these on Amazon. So yeah, I got these from Amazon for like $200 and they were eligible for Prime. So I was able to use Prime and receive them the next day, which was awesome. Um, and I think the company is actually the same company that I ordered my last pair of glasses from. Um, but I got these straight from the Fendi, um, I mean, from the Amazon website. Now, these glasses, I don't know what year and all that they came out. Maybe I, I might have came across something that said 2011 or something. But the style is still very, very on trend and very good style to have. Um, they are actually on the Fendi website right now in a lot of similar styles like very very similar to this I think the front was either solid black with this on the side or this was black and this was the logos it was just very very similar and it was twice as much like $400 so to get these pair for $200 was a great buy and I love the darkness of the lens and um, I would totally even though these are brown and tortoise I would still feel fine with um replacing them or substituting them for the original black christian dior pair because i like the shape and things of this better and i would just wear this as an everyday sunglasses i think it's just very classic to wear um and this case was kind of plasticky on the inside it kind of felt like the um ipad cover from apple but um had a little plastic and an authenticity card it also includes a wipe with fendi on it which is really cute um and these glasses actually fit in their case like hello dior or north Rack or whoever like glasses should fit in their case so um this is very cute and i would just have this in my purse um and I, I love that that's just so and the red it just really stands out so in your handbag easy to get to easy to find um it's getting very sunny outside i love it it's like i'm gonna run to the mall after this video so <laughs> my last pair of sunglasses are from a company called gaffos and they sent the glasses in a box very simple um and it had like plastic similar um baggies as the other ones a plastic little baggie and this is the case and i love it like i have some gucci eyeglasses that are in a purple velvet case so the green velvet i was just so happy to see like it's just so pretty and i'm so into green right now like i want green everything so i just love it it comes with this beautiful green silk baggie with gucci on it like gorgeous gorgeous like that's just luxe luxury it comes with the wipe like all the other ones um a cleaning cloth 
comes with authenticity card and different little information in this baggie here this is the inside of the case it is so pretty i love it love it these glasses i would still consider these to have some type of cat eye style um it's not like a super dramatic cat eye and i'm not sure what the millimeters are but these are very low very small so you can see my eyebrow here but these are like a vibe like this is giving me like oh like i might want to be inside with these like i don't know i'm just loving this look and i'm loving the ggs like these are going like i'm just wearing these all the time i love these <laughs> like i was so happy i got these i actually these are not the exact model but sweetie she wore a pair of gucci glasses with this kind of i'm not even i didn't even show y'all this kind of like wavy quilted kind of material on the side which is so cool and then the gold ggs she um wore some like this and her lenses were a bit more square um than these but i love this style i think these look really good on my face shape so i'm like super excited about these yes 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 so let me know which glasses y'all like the most i'm gonna just keep these on okay okay i might just keep these on because i'm loving these <laughs> just loving these um um so clearly these are my favorite but i would love to hear from y'all what glasses y'all loved what y'all didn't like and i will link everything in the description box of course even the other ones that i didn't show that like i think are great deals for for dior sunglasses i'm gonna put them in the description box but if y'all are new here go ahead and subscribe to my channel i am so happy about all of my new subscribers so y'all go ahead and like this video leave me comments and subscribe and also last thing click that notification bell because i want y'all to be alerted whenever i post a new video because this video is actually going to come out on a day that i have never posted before like i am all in with this youtube like i'm about to amp it up amp it up because my goal this month was actually to have 100 subscribers and i already know i'm gonna beat that so i'm just really like pushing hard pushing hard so just go ahead and click that notification bell so you're alerted whenever i post a new video and i will be back very soon thanks for watching bye